Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about scale drawings. So we're gonna answer the question, what are scale drawings and how can I solve problems involving scale drawings? So scale drawings such as maps, blueprints, models, anything like that are used to represent objects. They're drawn with a scale factor so that they are proportional to the original object. To find missing information involving a scale drawing, we can set up a proportion and solve using cross products. So we're going to solve this just like we do other real world proportional situations. We are going to plan how we write our proportion with words. We're going to write a ratio with the information that is known. Sometimes this information can be found on your formula chart or in the problem if you need it. Then we will set up a ratio with the information that is unknown. And then we'll have the proportion and can solve using cross product. Okay, let's look at number one. It says a tree casts a shadow that is nine feet long. At the same time, a person standing nearby casts a shadow that is three feet long. If the person is six feet tall, how tall is the tree? So we are talking about different objects, the tree and the person compared to their shadow. So there's how we're gonna set up our ratio with words. So the known is the person. The person is six feet tall and their shadow is three feet tall. And then it says a tree casts a shadow, which is on the bottom of nine feet. How tall is the tree? So there's how we set up our proportion. So it'd be six over three equals X over nine. Um, and six and three are both divisible by three. So I'm gonna go ahead and simplify that fraction so that these numbers are easier to work with. And I get two over one equals X over nine. And now I'm gonna cross multiply and two times nine is 18. And that equals one times X, which is X. So there's that missing value. That means that the shadow was 18 feet for the tree. Okay, let's look at number two. The Empire State Building in NYC is about 1,500 feet tall. A scale model shows the building to be five inches tall. How many inches would a 600 foot building be in the model? So we are comparing the building size, the actual building size, which is in feet to its model size, which is in inches. So let's set up our known information, which would be the Empire State Building. The Empire State Building is 1500 feet tall and the scale is five inches tall. So if we have a 600 foot building then how tall would this model be in inches? So my proportion is 1500 over five equals 600 over X. And 1500 over five, since 1500 is a big number, I'm gonna go ahead and simplify these by dividing both of them by five. 1500 divided by five is 300. So I get 300 over one equals 600 over X. And now this will just make it easier when I cross multiply. 300 times X is 300 X. And 600 times one is 600. And then I would divide by 300 to find the missing value and 600 divided by 300 is two. So how many inches would the scale model be of that 600 foot building? It would be two inches. All right, let's look at three. The width of the Q2 stadium soccer field where the Austin FC plays is 105 meters. A model of the stadium is made where one inch equals five meters. What would the width of the stadium in the model be? So they gave us the scale this time. One inch is five meters. So in the model, one inch, we're comparing the inches of the model to the meters of the actual stadium. And they told us one inch is equivalent to five meters. 
Okay, so it says the Austin FC Q2 Stadium is 105 meters. So that's going to go on the denominator. And I want to use this to figure out what the width of the model would be in inches. So my proportion would be 1 over 5 equals x over 105. There's not anything to simplify there, so I can go ahead and cross multiply. 1 times 105 is 105, and then 5 times x is 5x. And then I'm going to divide by 5, and 105 divided by 5 is 21. So that means that the width of the stadium in the model would be 21 inches. All right, number four, Julie draws a picture of a sailboat. In her drawing, she used this as scale, one centimeter equals 1.5 meters. If the height of the sailboat in Julie's drawing is three centimeters, what is the actual height of the sailboat? So they gave us the scale here. It is centimeters per meter, and they told us that that scale was one centimeter per 1.5 meters. So we can use this to determine the actual height of the sailboat. Her scale drawing was three centimeters. So that's gonna go on the numerator and I'll use that to figure out how tall the actual sailboat is. So the proportion would be one over 1.5 equals three over X. And now I'm gonna cross multiply to solve. Three times 1.5 would be 4.5. And then one times X is X. So I found the missing value. The actual height of the sailboat would be 4.5 meters. All right, number five, an architect draws a blueprint of a house using the scale one inch equals six feet. If the width of the driveway is 24 feet, what would be the width of the driveway on the blueprint? So they told us the scale, it is in inches per feet, and they told us that that scale is one inch for every six feet. And then it said if the width of the driveway is 24 feet. So they gave us the actual width. That's going to go in the denominator, 24 feet. And I will use that to figure out what would the width be on the blueprint. So my proportion is 1 over 6 equals x over 24. And now I would cross multiply to solve this. 1 times 24 is 24. And 6 times x is 6x, and then I would divide by 6, and 24 divided by 6 is 4. So that means the driveway in the blueprint would be 4 inches. All right, number 6. A map of the state of Texas shows the scale to be 1 centimeter equals 30 miles. The distance between Austin and San Antonio is 90 miles. How far apart will the two cities be on the map? So they told us the scale, it is in centimeters per miles. And they told us that that scale is one centimeter for every 30 miles. And we are trying to find the distance between Austin and San Antonio on the map, which is 90 miles actually. So I can use that to find the distance on the map. So the proportion would be one over 30 equals x over 90. Now I'm going to cross multiply to solve 1 times 90 is 90 and 30 times x is 30x and I would divide by 30 and 90 divided by 30 is 3. So that means the distance on the map would be 3 centimeters between Austin and San Antonio.